All right, he's coming out. Oh, we got a steal. Oh, he's grabbing. Oh. There he is. Oh, that's fat, there he is. Come here, buddy. Couple What's questions. Guys, it's your friend, the Iguana Man, and we're back out with another video. Right here, we're gonna show you how we caught this iguana, this bad, bad iguana that snuck in somebody's house and got trapped. We're gonna show you everything, how it went down, and what exactly happened. Basically, this morning, my boss called me. She's like, Iguana Man, I need you to come out here. We have a report of an iguana that broke inside somebody's house. I was like, an iguana that broke inside somebody's house? What are they trying to do, do a burglary? But no, he was on top of the roof and apparently he got in somehow. So here's the house right here. We got the iguana now, but I'm gonna roll the footage so you can see exactly how we caught this little dinosaur. Wow, Alrighty, Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. He's right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly. You silly iguana. Okay, he's just cold. That's why he's just chilling there like that. Wow. Hey, were you trying to feed him? Yeah. Yeah, was he eating or no? I don't think so. He was there like all day. How long, how long has he been out here for? Like since yesterday at like two. Okay, okay. Oh, he's a good boy. You want to come out and see him? No. You sure? Positive. Okay. <laughs> Where's the, you know, oh, that hole right there. Y'all gonna get that fixed? All right, I'll, if you want, I'll, uh, I'll take a picture of that. And I'll talk to her and see if she wants me to come out here and fix it for y'all. Okay, cool. All right, because uh, we can probably do that. Wow, so you guys see it right here. Look, check that out. So what, another issue, uh, what's going on with these iguanas is they're on top of the roofs and they're going through vents and also like they're making holes through this, this, the patio mesh and they come in and they get trapped, you know? So people have this for pools, they have it for like kids' houses, and you know, even to their, their actual houses. Look, look at that, look at that. We don't know if he actually broke it. We can't, you know, say that and be fair about that, but for sure he was living on top of the roof and he somehow stumbled on through here. And another problem that we're having with the corners is they're going through gutters, they're going through pipes, they're going through vents. So this is another issue with these things. And they're getting in attics and stuff like that. Good thing we were able to get him. He was cold, he wasn't warm. If he was, he probably would have definitely ran and tried biting me. But he's in good hands, we got him in the back. And we're out of here. Hey, lunch was fire, boys. Lunch was fire, man. We just we just ate at this uh, food court right here in the mall. But while we're eating, we actually got, uh, we got another call. Got another call. Uh, apparently there is a animal trapped in a lady's garage. She doesn't know what it is. She just knows that it's large um, and it's it's like in her garage and it's trapped. So yeah, we're gonna go out there, see if we can make contact. Um, see if, you know, we can catch this animal, find out what it is, you know, we have no idea. So that's where we're headed right now. We're gonna go, like I said, we're in route. We're about eight minutes away. And we're gonna go see if we can offer this lady some assistance. She was, she sounded like she was like really scared and she was really, really desperate to get some help. She, she said she tried letting the animal out. The animal did not want to escape, so we have to go ahead and extract this animal at her house. We'll see you out there, all right? Shoo, we are in the neighborhood where this mysterious creature is trapped in somebody's garage. Looking at the map, it looks like we're on some kind of peninsula or something. Gee, Willikers, I wonder what kind of animal this can be. 
We set that one trap. We got a cat in there. One, seven, five. Yeah, hello? Yeah. All right, bye. Okay. Yep, I think it's, oh, wow. What the? Right. The garage is open. Going on over here. All right, let's pop out and find out. Oh, there he is. Is it there? There's a little one. Yeah. What is it? It's a. Uh, it's a club. Awesome. Really? Man, he's little, man. He's not that big. He's in a oh. box. Okay. But he hides like. In between here, and then he goes in here, and then he hides like somewhere in between there. Or the other okay, day, how, how long has he been here for? I, I don't know. So he's behind all this stuff, basically. Yeah, he's been here somewhere. <laughs> so. Okay, we'll see if we can scare him out. You know they're nocturnal, so they come out at night. Have you guys tried opening this at night? Opening it at night? Yeah, but uh, um, I'm okay. here for like I live somewhere else. Oh, okay, so have to long time. Keep doing whatever you want. I can't. I can't help because I got stuff in the back. All right. I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. All right. Well, let's see if we can find this little guy. Hey, so the thing with these possums, if it's a, you think it's a possum, you said? Yeah. The little guy? So it's good. All right. Well, no, it's a possum. It has a long, long rat-like tail? Yeah. All right. See him? Oh, shoot. I see his tail. Yeah. Hold. That's, he ain't. Dude, he's, he's about that big. Yeah, I see his tail. I'm about to grab his tail out. That silly possum. I'm sorry. I don't know. You got a, you got a rag I can use? Can I use this? Yeah. Is that, is that fine? Yeah. Alright, close the door. We found his tail, y'all. This is where things get a little bit wild. Warning! Do not try anything what you're about to see in this video. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I wonder if it's a possum or if it's an armadillo. I guess we're gonna find out. As you guys know, these possums are not turning. Yeah, I see his tail. All right, he's coming out. Oh, we got his tail. Oh, he's grabbing. Oh. There he is. There he is. Come here, buddy. Couple questions for you. Bring that net. Let me see that net. Right there. It's right here, Ninja. It's Ninja, it's right there. What do you want me to do with this guy? I don't know. I don't have a cage to put him in. Should we send, just send him on his way out here? Send him free, yeah. Okay. Let me see this net. But outside, because we yeah. have the door open and he hasn't left. All right, cool. You can put him in the net. Just hold him by the tail. There he is. There he is. There he is. That's a big boy. Oh, my goodness. O-M-G. Look at this. He has a, look at his tail. His tail is prehensile. It's gripping my fingers. And if you look back there, you can tell he's a boy by his testicles. Very interesting. He looks like skinny, like he hasn't been eaten in a while. Wow, look at him. Hey buddy, I know. We just woke you up from your nap. I'll put him down here for a second. Just calm down. Just calm down. I know you're feisty. We just have a couple of questions for you. There he is. All right, so we found out what the mystery animal is. Um, we'll we'll go out there there because that's probably you know he'll probably find a tree where he can go. We wouldn't want him going uh, into somebody else's garage. You silly possum! All right, guys. So you guys see it right there. We ended up getting this possum. This is one of the uh, marsupials here in North America. People think they're related to rats, but they're actually related to kangaroos and koala bears, all right? 
just like kangaroos they have a pouch where they put their young in and they'll be in there and they'll until they get developed and then they can go on their own but as you guys can see he's tired he's kind of skinny he is musting a little bit if you look at the anus glands they're secreting a greenish slimy liquid so he is threatened right now he has a prehensile tail that means he can kind of hang on to things with his tail it helps him balance and he uh he's nocturnal so right now it's the daytime he's probably really confused we're gonna go ahead and let him go look he's still holding on to me with his tail i'm not holding on to him look at that all right we're gonna go ahead and leave him be we're gonna send him on his way look at him oh whoa uh oh come here buddy come here whoa look at him whoa Yeah, hold on, let me see something real quick. I just wanna make sure he's in good health. Come here, buddy. All right, he's good. Is he good? Yeah, he's good. Oh, what the? See that? Yeah. Guys, look at this duck right here. Okay. He's basically dead. Look at the color of the water. There's vultures everywhere. I smell something like a putrid kind of scent. Vultures are flying around everywhere right now. Something very bizarre is going on in this neighborhood. Stay tuned, we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna find out answers on what is going on. Look at this duck. I don't wanna touch it because I don't know what it's, it potentially is contaminated with. We'll be back here in a couple days and we'll see the, the process yep the process of what happens with this duck he's he's, he's trying to escape think but something attacked him yeah for sure something must have attacked something could have attacked him for sure yeah i didn't even think about that something could have attacked this duck he's got a broken neck Ninja, you smell that whiff? No. I just got a whiff of, of, of death. Of uh, decaying bodies. Interesting. We just know there's vultures everywhere. Things are dying left and right. Dude, that's insane. today. We'll be back.